Welcome back to the show. You know we love to support Easter Seals here on Shaw. And guess what, people? It is time once again for the 24-hour relay. And we are joined by our friend Marco Pasqua. Our teammate. Our teammate. That's right, for the drop zone, which is a whole <laughs> other ball game, people. And Christine Robb, event manager for the Easter Seals 24-hour relay. How are you both? Hey, guys. Great. How are you? Doing, doing fantastic. Thanks for joining us. Uh, maybe we should talk about the drop zone first, just to get it out of the way get for that out of the way. Okay. Marco, Marco. Uh, you have... Uh, have have become teammates with Fiona and I. That's One right. of us is not worried about the drop zone. One of us is a little more concerned. Right. So, uh, no, I, I have nothing to be concerned about. They're complete professionals in what they're doing. And uh, you know what? Me and Mike are going to be going down with you, so we're, uh, we're, we'll be doing it as a team. And, Christine, I, how many stories is the Easter Seals, the drop zone, that we're going to be doing in September? It's about 20 stories. About 20, 20 stories. stories. And I'll be rappelling with you, Marco, correct? <laughs> That's right. Okay. Uh, I'll be tied in uh, via my chair, you know, sort so of. So you're going down with the chair? With and... the chair and all. I figure, you know, let's get dramatic with it, so we're going to do that. <laughs> If you can do it, I can. That, that's it. I right. think. Uh, but let's talk about Easter Seals uh, itself, Christine. We're here to raise money, whether it be with the Drop Zone or with the Relay that's coming up this weekend. What is Easter Seals? Well, Easter Seals in BC, we have uh, two main services. One is Easter Seals Camps for Children with Disabilities, which Marco attended when he was younger. Mm -hmm. And we have one in Squamish in Winfield and in Lake Shawnigan. Uh, and it's where kids with disabilities can go and try new activities. They get the opportunity to climb the climbing wall, ch jump on in-ground trampolines. At Camp Squamish, there's a wheelchair accessible treehouse. And at camp, it's all about discovering new abilities for the campers while they're out there. Marco, uh, how important, uh, obviously you've graduated from Easter Seals Camp, uh, but uh, how important was that for you when, when you were a young man, when you were going well, to camp? as I said to you guys when I was here last time, it's hugely important, you know, uh, when you're a child and you go to an organization that makes a lasting impression on your life, it's going to affect you for the rest of your life. And if this is any proof, uh, Alliance has really stuck with me as the years have gone on, and that's why I'm here to give back and, and really remind people what it is that they're doing, because it's so grossly important. It yeah. is, and uh, Easter Seals every year gets a ton of money from the 24-hour relay, Christine. Tell us why it's so important to hold this event. It is a ton of fun, and that is a fact, but why is it so important for Easter Seals? Well, the Easter Seals 24-hour relays raise much-needed funds to operate Easter Seals camps every summer, so the monies that the, the teams are raising right now is going directly to helping the kids go to camp starting in July through August. And how important is this in terms of fundraising for Easter Seals and, and for the camps themselves? The Easter Seals 24 Relays are the largest fundraisers for Easter Seals Camp, so we rely quite heavily on the money raised at the Easter Seals 24 Hour Relay. And what goes on uh, at the relay? Obviously, we're seeing some footage, and <laughs> it looks like it's a very quiet, very sedate, Subdued. very mellow event, much like all your events with Easter Seals, oh, for yes, that matter. Well, it's it's essentially a celebration of all the fundraising that teams have done and of Easter Seals Camp. So teams have raised money in the months leading up to Relay Weekend. And from 10 a.m. Saturday till 10 a.m. Sunday, they take turns running the Relay Route. Uh, and they night camp, and day. Night and day. And the, <laughs> the teams, they camp at Central Park. And during the 24 hours, there's a volleyball tournament, a bocce tournament, a dodgeball tournament. There's a beer garden. There's live entertainment. There's kids' activities. And on top of that, just tons of people there who are all there. Just and obviously, Marco, camp. you've been involved with Easter Seals since you were a kid with mm -hmm. the camps. Uh, but now to be involved in the drop zone and the 24-hour relay, all the events are ton a ton of fun, too. How yeah. important is it for you to keep involved with Easter Seals? Well, you know, if you stay stagnant at anything in life, you know, you're going to just sort of uh, feel the way that you've been acting. And so I want to be acting active. I want to be out there doing the things that I love to do. And, you know, uh, the Lion Society and Easter Seals allows me to do these kinds of things with these events. I should say that there's a massive list of performers that are going to be there this year. Uh, yeah. We've got uh, one big one is Fresh uh, that was a finalist on Canada's Got Talent. Yeah. They're going to be there as well. Uh, we've got uh, Sandcastle Theory, a couple of uh, cover bands that are going to be there. So people aren't going to be disappointed with the entertainment. And of course, I'm going to be opening up the event and, and thanking the sponsors for them taking the time to do this. So, uh, How cool has it been in your life, uh, you know, going through the camps, having that experience, having it be so formative in your life, and now 
talking to other kids that, that are going through it and, and sort of serving as, as an inspiration for them and, and what sure. they can do with their lives. Well, that's the whole thing. I mean, that's why I started um, the Cube Principle, the system I created. It, I really wanted to show that it's possible for anybody to pay it forward. And so to see the difference that it's making in these kids' lives, just like it did for me years ago, it really almost brings a tear to my eye to say, wow, it did it for me and now it's still continuing on. I mean, it's going to keep going yeah. and going and I just love being part of that process. Okay, let's go back to the drop zone for a sec because we want to get the word out there for our team. <laughs> sure, because sure. we are, I mean, all fears aside with me, we are doing this to raise money. So once again, Your fears Marco, are not aside oh, at let's all. Let's do it for the fundraising. How can people donate? <laughs> all right, so I've created a short link. It's uh, tinyurl.com uh, uh, slash drop zone van and then they can just donate. Easy peasy. Beautiful. That Lemon makes squeezy. it nice and easy. Christine, thank you so much uh, and congratulations to everybody that's out there fundraising and is going to participate this weekend. If uh, you aren't participating, you probably know someone who has a team in the 24-hour relay. It is certainly never too late to make a big donation uh, and honor what they're doing this weekend and pay it all forward for the amazing Easter Seals camps and all the Easter Seals programs throughout the year. You Thanks guys. again, Thank both you. of you. We're going to take a quick Aaron. break.